today's webinar about dressing for your body type. Uh, I want to you want meant to make sure that you use this as a guideline um, and that you're not necessarily not everybody fits into one mold and that you could be a combination of two body shapes. Uh, so when you listen to the description, you can, uh, you know, hopefully fit yourself, see yourself into one of the, the molds. Um, on top of body shape, there's also, you, we have to, uh, uh, in dressing yourself, you have to look at your scale, your height, and your proportion as well. And these are three things that are just as important uh, to dressing yourself as it is to figuring out your body shape. And so that's something on another webinar that we can talk about is uh, height and proportion. Uh, Hangar 9 has always pride themselves in following this business model and in order and that's why we do recommend that you do work with a stylist uh, because in working with a stylist she will guideline you to proper portion uh, scale and your body uh, shape and, and plus help narrow down the brands that will work with your particular uh, body shape. So Rachel is going to put up our first screen, which is uh, about scale. Just to give you the visual, or sorry, this is proportion. Uh, just to give you the visual, proportion is the relationship of your body to your legs. So you can see either you're low-waisted, balance-waisted, or high-waisted. And uh, where do you get your height from? In your body, in your uh, height? or in your body. The second picture here is about scale, just to give you the visual about scale. And this is the combination of height and bone structure. So the first one is a petite, the second one is average, and then the third one is, is grand. And you can see the grand has a, a larger bone structure, uh, but also taller. Now to go to our body shapes. So the first one we're going to talk about is triangle. Uh, and triangle is you wear a smaller size on top than on the bottom. You have fuller hips and thighs. For example, you're usually a size, say, or you're a smaller top than bottom. So for an example, maybe a size six on the top and a size eight on the bottom. Jackets are great because they balance your look. But keeping in mind, you want a shorter jacket because it, it, you can use a smaller size in your jacket. Dresses are hard because of the size difference and alterations will be needed. Pant, uh, as for pants, high-waisted are great. Skirts, you can look at uh, boot cut skirts or A-line. Accessories, belts are great to accent your waist. And you can have fun with adding details to your tops, like accented sleeves, or and layering is very important for a triangle body. But again, keeping in mind scale, height, proportion, as well as a triangle body, uh, will help you find the ideal outfit. The next screen is the inverted triangle. So here, nope, I'll go back, sorry. The inverted triangle, Rage. No, that, okay, here we are, perfect. Um, here you wear a larger size on the top than on the bottom. You have narrow hips with a smaller bottom. Um, and usually we call this an athletic build, which means you have a great set of shoulders. So here, this woman would wear, say, a size eight jacket, but a size six pant. Uh, jackets for this woman uh, look great in double-breasted, uh, and usually a three-quarter length size, not too long, because we want to add more uh, depth to the, to the pant, or to the bottom. Dresses, wrap dresses are great, and coat style dresses are fabulous. Pants, um, pants are a great look for this woman. Uh, you look awesome in a pair of jeans. Uh, in the bottom. Skirts, avoid bulky or boho, uh, boho style. 
um, because there, there's too much volume in the bottom. We want to keep your bottom fairly straight and, and classic. Accessories recommended, um, thinner to medium sized belt, wide ones over accentuate the shoulder. So you want a narrow, a narrower belt because we want to downsize a little bit, downplay the size of your shoulders. And you want to avoid heavy scarves around your neck because this actually adds weight and dimension to the shoulders again. Um, not, uh, not that that's a, it's a bad shape. It's just that you want to soften the shoulder line just a bit. Um, so we, you don't look uh, actually a little bit heavier than, than you are. The next shape is rectangle. A uh, rectangle is something that I'm very familiar with because I perceive this as my body shape. Uh, so I have very little waist definition. I have flat hips and a bottom. Uh, I have a waist, so in my dressing, I, use, I need to create one. And I need to create curves, again, because I don't have any. Jackets are a key item to me because it gives me a waist definition. Cardigans are very tough because I, they avoid definition uh, and they actually round me. Uh, the boho look is, a t is tough again because it doesn't give any definition. Um, I, need, I need darts and I need to scale. Prints, um, or sorry, pants, not, not too many restrictions. High-waisted is tough because I don't have a waist, um, and I need lots of layers. I do look best in a straight skirt versus an A-line, again, because I don't have a waist. Dresses uh, can be a classic shift, uh, and dresses that um, have, are narrow around the shoulder and then go straight down. So like a shift dress is, is fabulous, or a classic tailored dress. And this, I need to avoid uh, tucking in, and I need to avoid waist detail. If I was going to wear a belt, it should be a thin belt versus a wide belt. Again, I don't want to attract attention to my waist, mainly because I don't have one. Next scale is the um, full hourglass. There's two looks for this woman, uh, the full hourglass slash round. And the difference between a full hourglass slash is that the full hourglass has a little more of a waist definition where a round would just eliminate the same upper and the same hip, but eliminate the waist definition. So the hourglass, you actually have the most feminine shape because you have curves. Uh, it's important to wear clothes that follow your body. Think Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe was very hourglass and Marilyn Monroe is actually a size 12, 14. So you could see how with the hourglass shape, you actually can dress very sexy if you want. Jackets should be shaped. Uh, collar, shawl collars or waterfall, waterfall fronts are nice because it helps detract from the bust size. Shaped cardigans are great, but keep on the shorter side. You don't want to overextend a cardigan, mainly because you're gonna, you will uh, overlook your showing your shape. Pants, side zip, and straight leg are fabulous. You really, uh, and plus a line. Again, you don't have a lot of pant restrictions. Uh, it would, and you don't have a lot of skirt restrictions. One of the best style of skirts is really bias cut or A-line. Again, keeping, you want to show your shape. You want to have fun with fabric that has a little bit give to it, stretches and knits, because you want to go, you, because again, you are two different sizes in the waistband. This is often where uh, the waist and your hip will not fit in what, so you might need waist uh, alterations, uh, which is very common for this body type. You want to avoid boxy and baggy sweaters, and you want to avoid too much layering. Uh, again, mainly because you don't want to, uh, you want to work with your body shape and not avoid it. Jeans, uh, you want to avoid heavy pockets. 
and cargo pants because that puts emphasis on the bottom part of your torso versus the top part. Accessories, thin belts, necklaces are great and scarves are great. Scarves are great to help balance a, a fuller bust as well. Uh, V-necks are great to help avoid a fuller bust, but you want to keep your, your look fairly tailored and streamlined. And your tops as fitted as possible because you wanna work within your curves. To go to the next street screen is a neat hourglass. Now you, there's, you can see this is where the conversation of proportion and scale comes in because we had the full hourglass, which is a different proportion than the neat hourglass. And it's not, the, the dressing is the same, it's just uh, where you have to take into proportion and uh, height on, on uh, creating the, the best look. So a lot of the dressing types uh, or comments will be the same, that the hourglass is again, the most feminine look because you're balanced. Your top half is in proportion with your bottom half. Uh, clothes do not have to work so hard at creating a shape, which in my case, uh, with the rectangle, my clothes need to give me more shape because naturally I don't have that shape. So jackets fitted with a waist definition, skirts preferably, preferably with a waistband and some shaping. Pants, basically any style. Dresses, any style uh, that, any style, but, and they can also be belted. You want to avoid wearing clothes that hide your body. Uh, you will risk, because you could risk looking heavier. Tunics, mainly because they do not show your shape, aren't a great idea for the hourglass shape, whether it be the um, full hourglass or the neat hourglass. You want to avoid pants and skirts that have no shape to them. So in, in working again with the longer length, you want to concentrate on bias cut or straight lengths um, because those will enhance your body shape better. Now those are just again great guidelines. You want to look at scale and height and proportion. Um, We're going to open it up to any questions that you might have and I know we've had some questions uh, sent to us earlier by email. Uh, so you if it's a particular question that you want for yourself, you can always email me independently to lisaf at hanger9.ca. I do have some jacket styles, which will be in the email blast uh, to follow as a recap. If I hold them up here, you can see how this jacket is great for the triangle body. It's a little bit shorter, more at the hip. The accented waistband, the tie at the waist, so brings in the waist. Uh, which will fall nicely over the hip. This jacket style here is great for the, tr the inverted triangle. Again, because it gives you uh, the width across the shoulders, but it brings the body in and falls over to the hip. Uh, and and this, this side tie gives the allowance for the extra hip volume, but will soften the shoulder. As I'm sure a lot of you have seen already in previous videos, this is my own jacket. Uh, so this is great for rectile, uh, a rectangle. You can see what, I'm, what I always need to uh, be cautious of in buying a jacket for myself are the dart lines. You can see how, I'm not sure if you can, but there is lots of darts in this jacket. You can see how the double breastedness is, the, the buttons are close together, which will help uh, bring in, uh, give me some waist definition. And in the back, these uh, more darting here, which will help give me a shape. This length is good for me because it uh, goes over my tummy. So uh, 
it can, it can camouflages my tummy. I do have to watch that I don't get my jackets too short. Uh, I want uh, for that rect, because I'm a rectile uh, shape, but with a tummy, I want things to go past my stomach and not fall at my stomach. This is a great jacket for a full hourglass because it's on the shorter side. Uh, it'll give waist definition. It'll fit the upper body, accent a waist, but then fall nicely over a hip, but not too, not too long. And then we have the neat hourglass which basically that woman, uh, <laughs> she can wear it really whatever she wants. Uh, but this is a, a, a nice, a, because she looks great in a pantsuit, uh, this is a great jacket. Again, it uh, shows waist definition. You can see how the double breasted are a little further apart. It's not as long as uh, the one I have, although I, this is a nice length for pretty much any body type. And again, you can see the, the, all these seams that are in the jacket. I don't, uh, jackets are, I feel, one of the most important things in a wardrobe, and especially because they do help create a shape that maybe you don't already have. Other than um, the neat hourglass shape, every other body type, we, in, in dressing, you need to create a shape. Uh, just you, what you want to do is you want to accent what is a strong feature. So in a triangle, accenting the top half. In an inverted triangle, you want your accent is your narrow, your narrow hip. In a rectangle, uh, the accent again is on the hip and, and the bottom half uh, because I have no waist, so I need to create that waistline. And then in the um, hourglass shape, uh, again, you're very proportioned. It's a proportioned body, uh, but you want to accent, again, the top, your top half and not so much your bottom half. So I'm going to open it up. Rachel's going to read any questions, if there is questions. Uh, but like I said, you feel uh, you're more than welcome to uh, send me your personal questions, and I can answer them as best as I can uh, through email. So it seems that a lot of um, people think that they are triangle shape. Um, so most of the questions have to do with that. Um, and they have relatively, what are some great brands uh, for triangle shape? What are some uh, accessory tips for that shape um, as well as inverted triangle? Um, and if you're, short maybe speak a little bit to being short-waisted because i find as a stylist that's a common common thing um in all body types is to be short-waisted and there's a few questions about that okay short-waisted meaning that your torso your upper body is shorter than the you carry your height than your legs so what you want to do is you want to it, balance it out. So longer jackets always work on uh, short-waisted people because it gives you the illusion of a longer upper body. Um, also definition. So you want to create uh, lines, um, uh, uh, waist. You want that waist definition. Um, and the same with uh, kind of uh, balanced waist uh, people. You want to create that waist definition. As far as accessory goes for triangles, uh, in, uh, triangle and inverted triangle, basically the, 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 the accessories are uh, different. For a triangle shape, uh, a wider uh, belt is great because you actually have a waist. So you are built like this, so you want, or sorry, you're built like this, so you want to bring in, um, sorry, I've got them mixed up. An inverted tri uh, a triangle is you're smaller up top and larger on the bottom. So you do come in at the waist a bit, but then you branch out. So you, you can do a wider belt, which gives your upper body a balance, a proportion balance. Uh, I wouldn't uh, avoid shoulder pads because again, uh, balancing the shoulders and the hip is always a good idea uh, for, for proportion. What you want to do is avoid maybe cardigans, short kind of classic cardigans because they can round you at the, the torso and we wanna work within your torso. Um, A-line skirts are dynamite. 
long bias skirt are dynamite. Pants are always going to be a little bit trickier depending on your hip and your uh, bottom size, but pants are tricky for every body type. Uh, Cambio has mastered the pants, but you'll find it in brands, they have slim cuts, relaxed cuts, and uh, regular cuts. So you'll want to know, depending on your size, what cut is best for you. I find a slim cut is better for a triangle shape because you are a little bit heavier on the bottom. Where an inverted triangle is slimmer through the hip, so you could go to more of a relaxed fit uh, because you're uh, thinner on the bottom. But again, you, you're, you're, you, it's really hard to uh, say what uh, pant styles because I find uh, pants, bras, and bathing suits are always the worst items to buy. Uh, they, and dresses, I should say, because they, it's, it's a particular cut that either works for you or doesn't. Tops we can manipulate, jackets we can manipulate, uh, but the, the pants, uh, in, as a salesman, uh, are kind of the saying goes, the sale doesn't start until the pant fits uh, because pants are more difficult to fit. So it, it's hard to say a brand, but a, a company like Cambio or Gardier and even Dorothy Schumacher, I find has uh, very good fitting pants. Um, Cambio and Gardier only do pants. They specialize in pants. So, you know, chances are those two brands, you're going to find a nice fit. I find North American brands, or sorry, European brand pants fit a little bit better um, than North American fit because a North American fit pant is a little bit broader through the behind and through the upper thigh. And I find uh, they can become a little bit squaring. Uh, a Palazzo pant, which is in fashion right now, uh, is very hard for um, uh, narrow hip people because you lose your shape in those. They're better for triangle shaped uh, body types. Any other questions? Yeah, so a few more. Um, what, oh, uh, accessories for rectangle shape as well. Oh, accessories. Um, I have to, I have to say belts aren't the best rectangle shape, mainly because we don't have a waist. Um, if you're tucking in, uh, then you need to, more or less layer with a jacket. It's very hard. Uh, rectangle looks great at layering. Uh, I look great in a jacket with a fitted top and a jacket. If I tuck something in, I definitely need that third piece. Uh, big wide belts, as much as I've tried, uh, are hard because they sit right on top of uh, the waistband that I don't have. Um, and, and of course, necklaces, uh, short or long are okay. You, there's really no restriction in accessories other than belts. I prefer a regular, like a classic jeans uh, style belt to a thinner belt versus a really wide, oh, say an OB belt, because I'm, that's where I'm the thickest is through the middle. Okay, and then, um... Color blocking for full triangle, bright on top versus the bottom, dark on top versus the bottom, tips like that. Okay, color blocking, um, yes, is a, is a great way to help create a shape. Uh, in the triangle, obviously, you want lots of detail up top because you're smaller up top. So you could wear uh, like a top that has lots of sleeve date detail. You can wear a top that has collar detail. Uh, and you can wear lots of color up top because you want to downplay your bottom. And then reversed with the inverted triangle, um, you you could wear, you look best, you, 
you're one of the uh, few uh, body shapes that can actually wear colored pants. So would I put you in a, a royal blue pair of pants or a hot pink pair of pants? Yes, because you're nice and slim through the bottom. And then we want to soften the, the top. So you want to really watch that your tops don't have too much detail. A lot of ruffles uh, for an inverted triangle is not a great idea. Heavy shoulder pads aren't a great idea for an inverted triangle. Um, you can soften your, your line with a V-neck. Uh, you have to watch uh, boat necks because boat necks do follow the, the line of your shoulder and it can accent it. Not that that's a bad thing, uh, but if you do have an, like say a runner, an athletic body or swimmer's body, we talk about uh, that you do narrow down into the waist. You can wear your tops on the more tailored side or very, a little more fitted uh, because that will also help so soften the shoulder. Um, and then again, about um, accessories, uh, chunky necklaces are in this year. Are they better on some shapes than others? Your accessories are more about your upper body proportion. So I would say, um, you know, obviously if you're small chested, then you can layer up the jewelry because it's not conflicting with anything. If you're large chested, then that's where you have to watch your proportions. You have to watch that, you, you know, the length of your necklaces, uh, how sometimes if in a large chest, uh, sometimes uh, uh, necklaces can, can cup around a chest. So you have to watch that. And definitely scarves. I would say scarves, uh, the only thing I, I, I would avoid is if you're large chested and inverted triangle that you avoid scarves because there's a lot of bulk um, up top and you already have the bulk. Uh, but other than that, necklaces, uh, you know, there's really no restrictions. Everybody can wear a necklace. Everybody can wear jewelry. Everybody can wear earrings. Um, and, and so I would I say the only restriction would be if it more, has more to do with the size of your chest than it does your body proportions um, or your scale. Yeah, and then there's just a lot of kind of personal questions um, about brands per body type. Um, so I don't know if you want to speak to just the fact that there isn't really one brand per body type, that it's more about the silhouette as opposed That's to the brand. Exactly. What you'll find is if you will even go through your closet right now, you, find, you might find that you've actually naturally fallen into uh, like a uh, uh, certain brands like if you like for example Mark Kane you might find that Mark Kane fits your body type so you've naturally bought maybe more Mark Kane than not for myself uh, I find Dorothy Schumacher fits me uh, very well I, I, I uh, can always have probably too much luck in the Dorothy Schumacher line um, so I find I, I own a lot of Dorothy um, because she fits she can fit my body type but you will naturally, and unfortunately, it's like trial and error. You will find brands that work for you, and then you will find brands that just don't work for you. Um, and unfortunately, it's a trial and error. The, the designers, um, for most part, like going, referring back to Cambio and uh, Gar Gardeur, they actually name their pants. So you will find that um, they'll call, like Cambio will call, uh, will have a Laura pant and Laura fits a particular body type. And so for year after year after year, they'll continue to do that Laura type brand. Um, so you can come in and say, I, you know, I'm looking for a Cambio pant. The brand, the, the style I like is Laura because you know it fits. And every season they just keep changing the fabric and the color. So more and more brands are starting to do things like that to help the consumer narrow in on uh, their body shape and, and, uh, and styles that work for them. But unfortunately, uh, a lot has to do with trial and error. And that's why working with a consultant does help your search down, mainly because uh, all day long, it's kind of like we do the research for you. All day long, we are dressing different body types. So when, when you come in and we know your body type, we can say, you know what, let's just look at this because of A, B, C, and D. Uh, we can kind of eliminate the search for you and, and or help help narrow the search for you. Okay, perfect. And, so 
I just threw our emails in the chat box. If anyone has any more specific questions, you can just reach out to us there. That's great. So hopefully uh, everybody got some good information on the different body shapes, but also keep in mind your scale and proportion, which is a whole other topic um, uh, about dressing your body. So it's a, it's a, it can be a little bit trickier than, um, than you didn't know. And that's why looking at uh, pictures online, always take into consideration you know, the body type of that model and how it, the outfit might look on you uh, compared to what it looks like on uh, in a magazine or in uh, some other form of media. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Be safe and be well.